today we will discuss this particular aspect of our accounting this is final accounts so final accounts are prepared at the end of an accounting period accounting period means the year for which we maintain our business records that is we record the business transactions during a particular period of time that is known as accounting period so final accounts are prepared at the end of the accounting period and generally the accounting period commensurate with financial year for tax purposes that is the financial year starts from 1st april and ends on the 31st march next year so generally the accounting period and financial period are matched so what are the components of final accounts components of final accounts there are three financial statements which are together called as final accounts it means a businessman has to prepare all these three statements to complete his final account so the first component of final account is trading account next one is profit and loss account and the third one is balance sheet balance sheet so a businessman have to prepare all these three statements to complete his final account at the end of the accounting period so let us start with trading account see one important fact is that here we have written trading account and profit and loss account and balance sheet there is no account so trading account and profit and loss account records the revenue items during the particular period of time that is the accounting period and we record it as debit and credit that is both these accounts will have debit side as well as credit side but balance sheet and debit and credit it records the assets and liabilities so balance sheet is a statement and these two are called as account trading account and profit and loss account So trading account is prepared to ascertain the gross profit earned by the business or gross loss suffered by the business during the particular period of time. So the aim of preparing trading account is to ascertain gross profit or gross loss. So in trading account we will record all the direct expenses. Means if you trading account records all purchases, then expenses directly related to purchases. purchases direct expenses which are directly related to purchases and factory expenses or manufacturing expenses so these are the expenses which are recorded on the debit side of trading account that is all purchases all expenses directly related to purchases and the factory or manufacturing expenses and on the credit side of trading account we will record income means sales and closing stock so i mean next profit and loss account will now so next is profit and loss account that is the second component of our final account profit and loss account so profit and loss account will be prepared for the particular accounting period means it consists the 12 months during which all business transaction has been recorded So profit and loss account will show the net profit earned by the business or the net loss suffered by the business. And in case of trading account, it was gross profit or gross loss. So these two accounts show the results of gross profit or gross loss and net profit or net loss. So profit and loss account will record all the internal expense. Means expenses related to office, expenses related to administration. expenses related to distribution expenses related to financial expenses like uh, interest interest on loan etc distribution like advertisement so all these expenses are known as indirect expenses so all the expenses which are recorded in trading account are known as direct expenses and those expenses which are recorded in profit and loss account are known as indirect expenses so it will help us in preparing the trading account and profit and loss account if we can properly identify what uh, what are the direct and indirect expenses so the last component of our final account is balance sheet balance sheet is a statement 
which stores assets and liabilities. So this is the third component of final account, that is balance sheet, which is prepared on a particular day to ascertain the assets and liabilities of the particular business organization. So assets means all the current assets as well as fixed assets. Fixed. Fixed assets are those assets which are used in the business for a long period of time. Means these assets are purchased to use in the business in the future for a longer period of time. For example, machinery, furniture, etc. Then time assets which are exhausted within the accounting period, like closing stock. Means time assets can be easily converted into cash, like sundry debtors, closing stock. These are all current assets which can be easily converted into cash. Similarly, liabilities are short term liabilities and long term liabilities. Short term liabilities means which are repayable within the accounting period and long term which will continue for a longer period of time, maybe for 10 years. So all these have to be shown in the liability side of balance sheet. So let us see how to prepare final accounts. So to prepare final account, first of all we have to prepare a trial balance. Yes. Trial balance. So as you know, trial balance is a statement which contains the ledger balances. So after preparing the ledgers, means in accounting, the first step is preparing journal, means we record the transactions in in the primary book known as journal book. Means we journalize the transactions. Then these are transferred to ledgers that transferring is known as ledger posting and after ledgers are balanced a trial balance is prepared with the help of reserve balances means it will contain all the final balances of ledgers so let us see a trial balance so all the ledgers which are shown their balances on the debit side means the final balance means the pd balance all debit side balances will be recorded here on the debit side of trial balance and the ledgers which have shown ledger balances on the credit side will be recorded on credit side of trial balance this debit balances of ledgers will be recorded on debit side of trial balance and credit balance of ledgers will be recorded on the credit side of trial balance so let us prepare this with imaginary figures Purchases 30,000, thus we are preparing the debit side of trial balance. Purchases 30,000, sundry debtors 40,000. Sundry means, see, <coughs> let us first explain the meaning of debtors. What is meant by debtors? Means in business, we sell goods either in cash or on credit. If there is cash transaction, means we are selling goods. For cash, we are taking cash, so our purpose is solved. In case of credit transactions, means we are selling goods, but we are not receiving cash. So, those people from whom we are not receiving cash at this moment will be known as debtors. Means those persons will pay money to our business at a future date. So, there may be one person, there may be 100 persons to whom we are selling goods on credit. So together the group is known as sundry, sundry debtors. Means it refers to more than one person from whom we will receive cash on a future date because of we are selling goods today on credit. So that group is known as sundry debtors. And opposite the case is with purchase. Means if we purchase goods on credit, it means what we are not paying cash now. So we have to pay cash at a future date. So those persons or those parties from which we are purchasing goods on credit are known as creditors of the business. Means our business will pay money to the creditors at a future date. So together the group is known as sundry creditors. Means there will be more than one creditor that is sundry creditors. Right? So next salaries 6000, wages 4000, rent 3000, then below rent. Returns in 2000. Suppose we purchase goods 
for rupees 10,000, right? We purchase goods for an amount of rupees 10,000 on credit from a particular party. Let us assume it is AB company, right? From AB company, we have purchased goods for the amount of rupees 10,000 on credit. So after we receive the goods, we check it and we find that some goods are not according to our order or we find that there are some uh, some damaged goods so we will return those goods for definitely for damaged goods all product goods not as per our order we are not going to pay so those goods will be record will be sent back to AB company so suppose damaged goods the amount of rupees damaged goods is 2000 so this is known as return Right? This is known as return. Then see another thing. This is related to purchase. Right? This is related to purchase. Similarly, in case of sale also, means at this time our business organization is selling goods. So we have sold the goods to the customers. So the customers are returning the goods now. Because we have sent wrongly or we have sent some damaged goods. It may happen. So in case of sale, the customers may return the goods, right? Suppose we have sold goods for amount of rupees 10,000 to XY company. Now XY company finds some defective goods. So XY company is not going to pay us for the defective goods. So XY company will return. So this is also a return. Suppose XY company has returned the goods. So in case of purchase, we have first purchased the goods, then we return. That is known as returns outward. Means we have returned. It's going out from our go down. And in case of sale, it will be returned inward. Means we have sold the goods first, then it will come back to our go down. That is returns inward. So this is the meaning of return inward. Means we have to deduct the amount of returns inward from sale. Next one is bad debt, 1400 drawings, 4800 printing and stationery, printing and stationery, 1600. Insurance two thousand four hundred opening stock ten thousand administrative expenses two thousand four hundred. So we have prepared this with some 
it was only figures. So in case of exam also, you will get a trial balance from which you have to prepare a final account. So the next feature of trial balance is there, the debit amount column and credit amount column of trial balance should be the same. Both sides will agree. So the total of this trial balance will be 1 lakhs 11,600. 1 lakhs 11,600. Means if we total all the amounts of debit column and all the amounts of credit column will get 1 lakhs 11,600. Means our trial balance agree. It means arithmetically we are correct in recording journal and in recording the ledgers and balancing the ledgers and in preparing the trial balance. So it facilitates in preparation of final accounts. So our main purpose starts now. Means we are going to prepare the final account. Means trading account, profit and loss account, and balance sheet. Drawings. So we drawings only have a time for you. The time trial balance for us to drawings only have a item for you. Drawings only for the business or for us. I mean, is our private user can have all fun. ड्रईंगस मान कि एज पार्टिकार विजनेसमेन विजनेस कैश अलग उठा लगे कैश खेल निजर प्राइट काम कारण यूज कर ड्रईंगस पैसा तो ऊल गई आम जो जार्नेल कर ड्रईंगस एकाउंट डेबिट टू कैश एकाउंट सो ड्रईंगस देखने गम पाँच दमाउंट अफ कैश उड्रन फ्रम दिजनेस फर पार्सनल यूज अब दर्ड मानने मालिके विजनेस मालिके प्राइट काम कारण विजनेस पैसा लगे क्या है ड्रईंगस तो फार्ष्ट आम एडजास्टमेंट नम्बर वन डिफिशियंट फार्णिचार टेन पार्सेंट नम्बर टू प्रविजन फर बेड एंड डू डेज एट दि रेट अफ फाइव पार्सेंट अन सानी रेटर्स प्रिपेड इन्स्यूरेन्स रुपीज फोर हाण्ड्रेड नम्बर फोर आउटस्टेडिंग एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एक्सपेन्सेज रुपीज वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हाण्ड्रेड नम्बर फाइव क्लोजिंग स्टक टूव थाउजेंड तो ये हम एडजास्टमेंट जो आम फाइनल एकाउंट बनाते किसान पार्टिकार ट्रेडिंग एकाउंट ना प्रफिटेबल एकाउंट ना बेलेन्स एडजास्ट कर सो यू हेव टू डेस इन द बुक्स अफ एक्स वाई कम्पेनी means the company for which we are preparing the final account trading account trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2012 or as per the question trading and profit and loss account they will write for the year ended 31st march above this particular line and below this line trading and profit and loss account for the year ended So this is the format of trading account and profit and loss account. So first of all, we will ascertain the gross profit by preparing gross profit or gross loss by preparing trading account. So let us start. So the items of trading account huh, are the items that we will include in trading account. So buy default it is two, and on the credit side we will write it as buy. First item of trading account will be opening stock. Opening. Stock. Ten thousand. Write the amount, the amount column. Opening stock is mentioned on the debit side of trial balance. So from the debit side, 
Fraser's record as the opening stop on the David Sandler Profit Trading and Quantum Loss account. Then our next will be purchase. So we have to see whether there are any adjustment or anything that we have to adjust here. Because in preparing the trial balance, we have seen some returns. Right? So the amount of purchase is 30,000 and there are some adjustment that is returns outward. Means the goods that we have purchased on trading but due to some defects, we are returning the goods and that return is known as returns outward or purchase return. Returns outward. This is also known as purchase return. So returns outward amount is 1000. So we have written it in inner column. 30,000 less 1000 means is 29,000. So the next item that we have, we have to see from trial balance that is what? Where is this? So as I mentioned earlier, trading account records all direct expenses, opening stock purchases, all expenses related directly to purchases and all direct expenses or factory expenses. So wages is paid to the workers, means those persons who work at factory. So wages is a direct expense, so it will be recorded in trading account, it's a manufacturing expense also. So amount is 4000, right? So on the debit side, we have completed, let us come to the credit side of trading account. So it will start with by sales so there is another adjustment returns yeah sales is amount 64200 we are returning in our column because of there are some adjustment adjustment will be what returns inward <coughs> so we have sold goods now customers have returned the goods because of some defects so we have to detect the amount of returns inward from sales less returns Inward. It is also known as sales return. So amount is rupees two thousand, right? So it will be sixty two thousand. The final amount is sixty two thousand two hundred. Means the total amount of sale for the period is sixty two thousand two hundred. Then the next item on the credit side of trading account is closing stock. Yes. So closing stock that is as given in our adjustment in additional information closing stock rupees 12,000 so these are the items generally come in trading account so now we are in a position to determine the gross profit or gross loss suffered by the business so which one is heavier either debit side or credit side this side is heavier if we total the columns then credit side is heavier. So these are all incomes. It means trading and profit and loss account is nominal account. So all uh, incomes will be shown on the credit side and all expenses will be on the debit side. So our income is more than our expenses. So the heavier column will be total first. That will be written here. And this will be right. First of all, this column will be total, then the heavier amount will be written here, and from this we will deduct these expenses. Means the income minus expenses in simple terms. So from 74,200 we will deduct all these expenses, and the resultant figure will be 31,200, right? So this 31,200 is what? Gross profit of business. As incomes are more than expenses, it will result in gross profit. On the other hand, if expenses are more than income, it will result in gross loss. So to gross profit. To gross profit transfers to profit and loss account. To gross profit, you can write it as to gross profit CD. Or you can write it to gross profit to transfer to profit and loss account. Or simply you can write to gross profit CD. Right? So our business is earning gross profit amount of rupees 31,200. 
So when we finish this, it means we have prepared trading account. Our next step is prepare sort of profit and loss account. So this is the credit side and this is the debit side. Same format, particulars, amount, particulars, amount. So gross profit will be transferred to profit and loss account. So it is profit and loss account and gross profit will be recorded here by gross profit. You can write it as gross profit BD or gross profit transferred from trading account. Amount of gross profit was 31,200. So again we will see our trial balance. What are the items that will be recorded in profit and loss account. So first one is salary. Salary means the amount paid to the office staff. It means it is an office expense. So office expenses are known as indirect expenses which will be recorded on the debit side of profit and loss account. Salaries, is there any adjustment regarding salaries, any outstanding, any prepaid, is there any adjustment? Salaries, there are no adjustment. No. Huh? Salaries is, is 6,000. Right? Salaries is 6,000. Then our next one is to rent. 3,000. Then we will go for bad day. Situation adjustment, that is, make a provision for bad and doubtful debts at the rate of 5% on some creditors. Some creditors means those parties to whom we have sold goods on credit. So some of them will return money, we are sure, but some of them may not return money. And some of them will never return money, that we are sure. So who, those who will not return money, it means this is a bad debt actually. And those who may return or may not return, they are doubtful debts. So here we will make some adjustment. So in uh, trial balance, we have one figure regarding bad debt. Bad debt amounted to rupees 1400. Add means here we will add the adjustment that is a provision we will make a provision that some debtors may not return money that is eight reserve for doubtful days reserve for doubtful days or you can write as provision for doubtful days or reserve for doubtful days so that will be calculated at the rate of five percent on debtors right so debtors are forty thousand right from trial balance, we get the figure of debtors as some debtors as 40,000. So, on 40,000, we have to calculate 5% for reserve for debt. Is it clear? Our trial balance of DRS 40,000 some debtors. Our adjustment of DRS is 5%. Ami have a provision for the provision of 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 the at the rate of 5%. Now, we have 40,000 for 5% calculation. 2,000. 2,000 amount we add for bad debt total. Trial balance has already been bad debt. Now, we have to do adjustment. Adjustment is 5% on debtors. So, the total number is 3,400. Next item will be to printing and stationery. Printing and stationery have two adjustment time. Diagonals of the figure as a printer will you to printing and stationery 1600. Next time is insurance PP. Trial balance of insurance are around 2400. And you can now go on if you look at adjustment for another asset. Amount of 400. Adjustment of around you. So, this is our total insurance hold 2000. 2400 minus 400. Next item is our administrative expenses. Trial balance of your amount of 2400. Adjustment of our outstanding administrative expenses. 
আউটস্ট্যান্ডিং থাকিলে আমি কৰিব লাগিব এক তাৰে এটো আমি দিব লাগা আছে আউটস্ট্যান্ডিং প্ৰিপেয়াৰ কৰাৰ আমি কৰিছিলো ডেজ তাৰে অলৰেডি দিয়া আছে যেটো আমি এটা এডজাস্ট কৰি কমাই দিলো আউটস্ট্যান্ডিং যেটো আমি দিব লাগা আছে এন্ড আউটস্ট্যান্ডিং এডমিনিস্ট্রেটিভ এক্সপেন্সেস কিমান আছে আমাৰ 1600 ফাইনাল अमाउंट আমি এটা লিখিলো 4000 so depreciation means we are reducing the value year by year you are using a particular machine or furniture and year by year we are reducing the value that is known as depreciation so depreciation we have to maintain at the rate of this is given as 10% 10% so depreciation on furniture will be maintained at the rate of 10% so to depreciation on furniture means we have to cal calculate furniture is what it is given in tire balance as 4000 so 10% means 400 so depreciation on furniture is 400 so let us go for credit side of profit and loss account so all the incomes means in tire balance some items of incomes are given like interest received on investment amount is rupees 800 all the income should come here then any other income let us see the tire balance yes commission this is commission that we will see by commission 1200 interest right by interest 400 so these are the incomes and these are the expenses means indirect expenses that we have recorded so let us find whether our business is earning net profit or net loss so if incomes are more than expenses definitely it will result in net profit so we have to calculate which one is the heavier side so in debit oh sorry in credit column the total will be 33600 right Thirty-three thousand six hundred. So again, we will write it thirty-three thousand six hundred. That is the total of credit side. So as this is credit side is heavier, we will deduct the lesser amount. Means all expenses will be deducted from thirty-three thousand six hundred. So what will be the result? This is the resultant figure after deducting all the indirect expenses. So this is known as what net profit. Two net profit. So net profit will be transferred to capital account. So to net profit transferred to capital account, you can write it as or to net profit CD. Or here you can write by net profit BD. CD मतलब ये तो हमारा ये particular balance तो अमी follow में लोई जाऊँ। जितने net profit हमारे add हो capital और हो। तो ना अमी ले जाओ तो क्या balance कोई सी दो। तो फिर अमी उन्हें इसके लिए closing balance और opening balance. Closing balance to whole amount CD. मतलब यात्रा ही काम तो half कोड़े दो. जितना भी finalised कोड़े हैं, फिर transferring it to the opposite side. That is known as BD. CD means carried down. A उस तो A figure को अमी यात्रा जो है हिंग by net profit BD. तब उन्हें net profit और अमी finalised कोड़े दो. Final amount तो net profit उस भी transfer to the opposite side. अमी लेजर जो निकले balance कोड़े से दो. CD carried down. जितना बार क्लोजिंग बैलेंस है सिद्ध आरु बीडी जितना सिद्ध अपन ब्रोड डाउन ताने जितना अपन फाइनल बैलेंस के एक ही रूल पे अपन अप्लाई होए ट्रेडिंग आरु पोस्टर लॉस अकाउंट बैलेंस को सीडी उल्लिया ताने यार ए अमाउंट ऊपर एक्सपेंस बाकी जितना बार उड़ा बो जितना मिक्स बुली को सेमीफाइनल बुली कोडि� पार्टनरशिप अकाउंट्स जो तो मैं बोला है सो पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म तो इतने वाले ए नेट प्रॉफिट को हमार दूसरा लोग आधार भाग दो ये तो कहाँ एक्सप्रोप्रिएशन ऑफ प्रॉफिट तो हमें ए बैलेंस को हमें फाइनलाइज करा पिसा मतलब बीडी लो आना पिसा तो हमें ए बुक सुनी कोड करना तो बीडी आना पिसा तो आठ छोटा 
So, if you have a closing, you can see the final step. 